Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Wa bihi nasta'in ala umuri dunia wa din. Salatu wassalamu ala asrafil anbiya'i wa mursalin. Sayyidina Habibina wa Maulana Muhammadin. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd. Warmest greeting to you all from Jakarta, Indonesia. His Excellency, the Vice President of Republic of Indonesia, Executive Chairman of National Committee for Sharia Economic and Finance, KNEKS, Mr. Bapa Professor Kiai Haji Ma'ruf Amin. Excellency, Executive Director of National Committee for Sharia Economic and Finance, KNEKS, Mr. Fencher Raharjo, a very good friend of mine. Director of Halal Industry Product, National Committee for Sharia Economy and Finance, KNEKS, Mr. Afdal Aliasar. CEO of Crescent Rating, Mr. Fazal Bahardin. Country Manager of MasterCard Indonesia, Mr. Nafin Jain. General Secretary of Central Board of Sharia Economic Society, or MES. My very good friend, Mr. Igi Ahsin. From the Tourism School in Bandung, NHI, Mr. Anang Sutono and Chairman of Indonesia Halal Tourism Associations, PPHI, Mr. Rianto Sofyan. Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let me start my remarks with praises to the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because of His blessing, we can virtually join Halal Dining ASEAN Forum 2021. I wish to extend my great appreciations to KNEKS, the National Committee for Sharia Economic and Finance, for inviting me to participate in this very rare occasions where we can share thoughts and experience in a specific issue. Indonesia is a country with the largest Muslim populations in the world, yes. According to data from Director General of Populations and Civil Registrations, Ministry of Home Affairs, the total numbers of Muslim in Indonesia counted 236.53 million people in June 2021. It means that 86.88% of the populations in Indonesia would be considered Muslim. Thus, there is a huge potential in developing the Sharia and Halal industry, including tourism and the creative economy sectors in this country. One of the sectors that, that can be developed definitely is the Halal food industry. According to State of the Global Economic Report, in 2019, Muslims spent in total of 1.17 trillion US dollar on halal food worldwide. In addition, the food industry is the largest contributor to Indonesia's GDP in the creative economy sectors with value reaching 455.44 billion US dollar or 43% of the total creative economy sector in 2020. If you look at this would be the third biggest contributor in the world after the US and Korea. Our creative economy sectors now is nearly 455 trillion rupiah and it's 43% of the GDP. Sound evidence of huge opportunity and potential for the halal food industry to be developed in the future. Moreover, halal food has the potential to be part of extended services for halal tourism. 
the large number of Muslim tourists visiting Indonesia, who are mainly from Middle East countries, would be a great opportunity to promote Indonesia halal food. In 2014, Ministry of Tourism and Creative Economy declared 30 traditional Indonesian culinary icons, which are the best representations of Indonesia's authentic food assets. Furthermore, these 30 icons were then narrowed down into five Indonesia food icons, which are now highly promoted to foreign tourists. The five Indonesian food icons for promotions include Soto, Rendang, Nasi Goreng, Sate, Gado Gado. All of them can represent Indonesia halal food since the ingredients of the authentic recipes are all halal. Indonesia has a wonderful and meaningful tagline to promote Indonesia food and cuisine, namely Indonesia spice up the world. The tagline shows the importance of spices in Indonesian cuisine. Discussing about Indonesian cuisine is not only about the, the delicious taste. It's very delicious, trust me. But also the history and culture behind the creations of the food. We call it the story behind the story or storynomics and storytelling. Most researchers found that exploring narratives related to the history and culture behind the creations of a particular food will be more valuable for foreign tourists. Furthermore, the narratives tend to provide a memorable experience for tourists that leads them to tell their friends about the food and Indonesia in particular. We highly appreciate the collaborations between KNEKS and MasterCard Crescent Ray and MasterCard Crescent Rating to launch the MasterCard Crescent Rating Halal Food Lifestyle Indonesia 2021 report, which reflects the Muslim-friendly tourism industry, especially halal food. Hopefully, this report can promote the huge potentials of halal food in Indonesia and can be a new wave for the national economic growth. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to conclude my remarks, I wish Halal Dining ASEAN Forum 2021 to be a great success and everyone will enjoy this wonderful event. Also can give us broader insights and understanding in religious and pilgrimage tourism. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our endeavors and I hope you and your beloved ones are always safe and healthy. Have a fruitful discussions. Rise up in difficult times. We will win against COVID. And together, yes, we can do it. Hasbunallah wa ni'mal wakil. Ni'mal maula wa ni'man nasir. La hawla wa la quwata illa billahil aliyil adim. I will close with a pantoon. Blitar city is one of the religious destination. In Blitar, you can also enjoy the culinary. With our strong passions and collaborations, let's make Halal Dining ASEAN Forum 2021 a success story. Yay. I thank you. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a nice day. Wabilai Taufik Walidayah. Wallahu al-muafiq ila aqwamit tariq. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.